Platinum Games have come out now and given their statement. Now, again, this is what you can do with a grain of salt type thing, like, you know, take them at face value or if they're trying to save their ass or whatever you want to do. This is probably the last part I'm going to actually speak about this because I just don't think there's anything worth covering, not unless something massively big uh, drops. But basically, let's have a look at what is said. We at Platinum Games offer our sincerest appreciation to everyone who has contributed to creating the Bayonetta series over the years, as well as the community that has served as its foundation. We give our full support to Jennifer Hale as the new Bayonetta and align with everything in her statement. We ask people to please refrain from any comments that would disrespect Jennifer or any of the other contributors to the series. And I think this is a fine thing when they turn around and say like just don't go after our, our people because it's not their fault type thing and you know i think this is absolutely fine um again we know both sides of the story now with um helena as well as this so now what we're going to be doing is kind of just leaving it and that's it so let's look at jennifer's statement now, this was mentioned a while ago. With regard to Bayonetta 3, as a long-time member of the voice acting community, I support every actor's right to be paid well and have advocated constantly for this over the years. Anyone who knows me or has followed my career will know that I have the greatest respect for my peers and that I am an advocate for all members of the community. I am under NDA and I'm not liberty to speak regarding this situation. My, rep my reputation speaks for itself. I sincerely ask that everybody keep in mind that this game has been created by an entire team of hardworking, dedicated people and I hope uh, everyone will keep an open mind about what they've created. Finally, I hope that everyone involved may resolve their differences in ambience and the respect respectful way with love and respect to you all jennifer hale and i think that's absolutely fine i know that um obviously jennifer is under nda and will not speak about this until the nda runs out uh i just don't think uh, anything else will come of this so i just wanted to kind of give the final update but one thing is like literally looking at this third now i spoke about this i think in the previous one it says i feel like critical thinking skill needs to be taught on its own subject so i spoke about that the other day go check out the uh cheeky bayonetta video that i did previously and then obviously with Jason, Jason here, I can't say his surname, um, you know, obviously Jennifer has retweeted this. I recently heard from a good source that 15K was offered to Taylor, um, Pla uh, Platinum's second highest offer, I believe, but wasn't able to, uh, to second to source it. Haven't heard about the counter. And then obviously Jason goes into more detail. And then obviously they're saying that Jason is a very credible source. And again, saying here, I can, co I can corroborate that Jason's uh, reporting of a better than three pay dispute, a sad and messy situation, and it's all there in a thing. And then again, it's like, read this entire article, the dude has a reputation for accuracy. So again, a lot of times that maybe Jason is right, and thus therefore, Hel uh, Helena was paid 15, th or was gonna be offered 15,000. But that's roughly about it for the story. Um, I would like to know, like, I would like to see all the details and stuff like this. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. Jumping back. And there, I'm just going to leave that. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that um, they're right? Do you think they're wrong? Let me know down below in the comments. And with that, I'll see you later. Channel to support us. Thank you very much. Channel to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. 商品を入手することができます。